Starting with number 20, during a game, Judge Trump sneakily distracted the referee by pointing to the crowd. With the ref's eyes elsewhere, he cheekily played an illegal shot, sparking waves of laughter around the arena. Nice to entertain the crowd when the frames are one. <laughs> and that shows Judge Trump still has his sense of humor, and it's a lot easier to smile when you've limited the damage. Following up next at number 19, during a high-tension match against Ronnie O'Sullivan, Ding surprised everyone with a fluke shot. Both players looked at each other, burst into laughter, and shared a moment of light-heartedness that was both genuine and memorable. He'd go down to history as the greatest 147 of them all. What a tough shot. <sighs> And at number 80, Kurt Mafflin expressed his frustration during a match by flipping the middle finger at the white ball after a particularly aggravating shot. This bold gesture nearly cost him a fine, but ended up being a memorable moment. Oh, 105. Moving on to number 70. In a clever twist during a game, Mark Williams potted a red and then, with a mischievous grin, picked up the cue ball, committing a foul. The referee looks as confused as the audience. Swung it around the table for the black, but it still tied the frame. I think he lost momentum there, Five. really. Foul. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> he put the right to see it. <laughs> you can see it in the frame, the referee said foul. I know the more important thing is uh, Mark Williams has gone in front again now. It's seven frames to six. Counting down to number 60. In an unforgettable scene, Anthony McGill climbed onto the snooker table to position himself for a difficult shot. If I were Anthony, I'd just check to see if it weren't, weren't touching. <laughs> yes. You have to keep uh, a foot on the floor at all times. Can't do that. We reach number 50. During a match between Mark Allen and Sean Murphy, the referee accidentally dropped the yellow ball. Both players responded with exaggerated, comedic gestures, turning a simple mishap into a moment of laughter. Oh, hang on. Steady, Rob. Steady. Quick, quick. You got it. <laughs> Well, everyone's excited to be back at the snooker, clearly. <laughs> and disaster was averted. Next at number 40, a friendly banter session erupted between Mark Allen and Mark Selby during the 2023 World Snooker Championship. Their exchange, filled with witty remarks and chuckles, provided a delightful interlude. It's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Always missed it. Mark Allen for. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> oh, that's nice to see. Approaching number 30. After a failed shot to disperse the Reds, Sean Murphy humorously resorted to using his hands, gesturing magically as if to move them by sheer will. Oh, he's unlucky. <laughs> Open says me. Well, you might five. Coming to number 11. While playing in a crucial match, David Gilbert suddenly realizes his fly is open. Without missing a beat, he zips it up and lightens the moment with a joke, saying, There's not much to see anyway. <laughs> I hate these type of frames. Absolutely horrible when the balls go up towards the bulk area. There's not a great deal you can do. Very much to see anyway. <laughs> <laughs> very funny aside from Dave Gilbert there. I won't tell you what he said, but you can make your own stories up. Coming to number 11, Sean Murphy's expressive nature was on full display at the 2018 World Championship, where his array of comical facial expressions became a highlight. Look, in the world isn't going to make you win unless you're very good at what you do. These boys are very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
he's putting some face in his jaw. No need to tell you he doesn't like it. <laughs> like uh... Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Moving on to number 10, which features a playful strategy against Mark Selby. Walker attempted to block a pocket with his cue ball, turning the competitive atmosphere into one of mirth, as the crowd enjoyed the unexpected tactic. 63. <laughs> well, that was topping. Number 9 reveals Mark Allen's game took a comedic turn when he lost his balance and unintentionally scattered the reds across the table. In the 8th spot, an unusual interruption occurred at the 2022 World Championship when a pigeon decided to land right on the snooker table during a match between Mark Selby and Yan Bingtao. Well, I don't believe we've got a pigeon in the crucible. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, please. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this? Oh, that come into the, oh, he's coming into the commentary box. Hello there. <laughs> Where's the pigeon going? <laughs> Lucky number seven. In a humorous oversight, the referee forgot to replace a yellow ball, and Mark Williams, noticing the mistake, cheekily repotted it. Isn't that nice to see as well? Oh, yeah, what a gentleman. Nice yanks. Now this is going to be funny. Mark's going to go around and get the yellow out himself and put it back on the table <laughs> because the referee... <laughs> No, that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Never ever seen that before. Is that well, not a foul shot? You're not allowed to spot the balls up there. That's, that's a foul <laughs> then. That's a foul. <laughs> I'm falling. Coming up at number six. In a uniquely light-hearted moment during the World Snooker Championship final, Mark Williams casually asked a crowd member for some candies. Number 5. Rule against Mark Williams by blaming a sudden fart on the referee. His attempt to waft away the smell only added to the hilarity, breaking the tension with classic Ronnie humor. During a challenging match, Mark Williams humorously swapped through several cue extenders, trying to find the perfect fit for a difficult shot. Watch the green. I need the long stuff. The, the long rest as well. Very difficult to play with the rest when one's longer than the other. Another extension. It's not, not quite going to work, I don't think, that. No, the minibot is too thin <laughs> to go on that extension. The referee kind of suggested putting an extension on the extension. Here we go. Well, if there's any more put on there, will be playing this from the car park. <laughs> and still it's got that little rest out. Now this doesn't look, this doesn't look right at all. You could just get the extension rest out and make things a lot easier. <laughs> you need an engineering degree to play this shot. Could always get the half butt. Well, 
Well, I don't understand this plane with that small rest. Yeah, now get everything out of the way. And at number three, after potting a crucial black ball, Graham Dot animatedly gestured towards the cue ball, hoping for it to backspin and crack open a cluster of reds, setting him up for the next shot. When the cue ball stopped just short, Dot's exaggerated, hopeful gestures turned into a comical display of disbelief and humor. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was brilliant. <laughs> so hard to get in, and he went boom, as if he was going to smash them all over the place. That is so funny. That is funny. <laughs> Coming in at number two, at the World Seniors, Tony Drago accidentally slipped off his chair making everyone in the crowd chuckle. Excellent performance from Igor Figueredo. Oh! Well, just I think Tony was leaning back too much on his chair and he went over. He's OK. He's OK. And finally, number one. In his 2021 championship match against Selby, Mark Williams tried to humorously clear the colors using his rest. For this video, which one did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.